gentleman from Alberta, Canada over here who brought his hand drum. He said he's got tree rights from his people. Alright, he says he wants to give you guys a song. Hello, my name is Sunny Eagle Speaker. I'm from uh, Stand Up, Alberta, Canada. And uh, my father's from Saskatchewan, and we even do an idle no more in Seattle, not out of the malls. And that's one where all my hand drum brothers are at. That's pretty cute. Gee, they all told me to be here, and I'm the only one that showed up, I guess. So I guess I'll offer a song. I guess they brought my drum for nothing. I guess. Okay, yeah. Uh,
all my relations. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Sonny Eagle Speaker, for that song. And he's all the way from Alberta, Canada, and where a lot of this all started. Again, I want everyone to look around out there in the arena. Look across the arena. Look to your right, to your left. This is what unity looks like. This is what we need every day to fight these issues, to fight for our rights, to fight for the environment, for the earth, to benefit all people of the world. This is what unity looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Another singer wants to give you guys a song. Hello, my name is Matt Pinto. Um, how you guys doing? Okay, I got a question. Who all got snagged last night? Come on, that has to be more than that. I'm guessing the rest of you guys are leftovers, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I actually composed a song uh, the other day um, at the Palo, so check it out. <sighs> I'd like to say uh, good afternoon. What a beautiful day it is. You know, it was great to uh, be asked to speak here. My name is uh, Norman Patrick Brown. 
And I'm originally from Kim Lee, Navajo Nation. The last two days have been uh, some great days for me. I've been hanging out with uh, some young men, determined young men. And I just want to share with you real briefly our conversations. What we have talked about was our future. He asked, what is our future as a people? Well, we still have our language. Well, we still have access to our sacred sites. Well, we still have our water. Well, they still mine uranium on our lands. These are questions they ask me. And I just told them that all across Indian country, we all face threats of one way or another to our way of life, to our way of being of who we are, who we are blessed to be. It's beautiful red people of this land. We had talked about how important education was. But just as important as the education was, learning who we are, where we come from, where are we going, but most importantly, what we can become. And I urge all our relatives, 30, 50, and over 60, let's start mentoring our young brothers, our young sisters, for our generation from the 70s on have been one of defiance for our freedom. One way or another we have to, I believe, initiate our young people to continue speaking on, to continue advocating for our way of life, for our independence of who we are, Mentor them in prayer, in meditation, in song, and dance. Our young people are searching all across Indian country. And we're there for them. For myself, what I see ahead is great difficulty for all of us. New laws threatened us each day in Congress, the Supreme Court ruling against our tribes, our nations. As each generation moves on, hopefully we continue this fight that our ancestors have fought for us. I just want to say that all of us, from the tip of North America to the tip of South, uh, South America, we're one family, as we all know, we're one people. We're learning relatives, the name relatives. We're part of you here. And all those singers, your drums, thank you for blessing our people, reminding us of how beautiful we are. Your healing songs. In this way, I just wanted to express myself that our young people in the universities need our support. We need to listen to them. We need to help them. Speak for us, for we're going to be all one day. And who's going to carry on our fight for our way of life, our rights as a people? So all you young people, 
you know, the universities are going into the universities. Keep jamming. Keep studying. Keep working for us. Come home. We need your help. We need your voice. We need your energy. It's going to be time soon for you to help lead us. So in that way, I encourage all our young people, thank you for working hard for us. I hope. All right. We're going to be going into our grand entry here before too long.